Today we're learning more details about the suspect in the mass shooting in Northridge in which four people were killed. NBC 4's Patrick Keeley is live outside the courthouse in Van Nuys where just two weeks ago I guess the suspect was there. Is that right, Patrick, in court? That is correct, Chuck. Cop Pasasuk, and in fact, a bench warrant was issued that day, but later rescinded. Now, with Pasasuk facing four murder counts, his past 11 months of probation and run ins with the law have raised the question could he have been kept off the street? Having waived extradition along with three others, suspected Northridge shooter Cobb Pasasuk will be returned to Los Angeles. He'll face four murder counts for the Northridge homicide Sunday outside a boarding house. Eleven months out of prison, Pasasuk had been under the supervision of the probation department. But the probation deputy chief today confirmed Pasasuk had never reported to his probation officer. He did not report, correct. Bingham said back in January, Pasasuk had accumulated enough good time credits for his auto theft term, he would have been released from prison even without so-called realignment. Difference is, Pasasuk would have been put under the supervision of state parole rather than community supervision under county probation. LAPD Chief Charlie Beck. Is he certainly would have had an increased level of scrutiny uh, via probation or parole. Fact is, according to probation, Pasasuk did not report in February and still had not reported at the time of contact with police in July for a domestic violence incident that was not filed. In August, probation put him on a non-compliance list sent to police agencies. In court in September for meth possession, Pasasuk pled no contest, hoping to be released on a drug diversion program. The probation department opposed that. We recommended denial because of the history of non-compliance and because we felt that uh, he posed a risk to the community. Nevertheless, Van Nuys Judge Jessica Silvers did order diversion and Pasasuk was freed, again required to report to probation, and again he did not. On November 14, Pasasuk failed to return to court for a progress report. Judge Silvers issued a bench warrant but lifted it when he showed up later. Barely two weeks afterwards came the Northridge homicides. Now, what Pasasu got earlier this year, post-release community supervision, that is new with the so-called realignment change in the law last year that diverted some felons from the state prison system to the county jail system. The uh, probation deputy, Chief Bingham, told us that his department will review this case to see if it did slip through the cracks at some point, if there's anything that could be changed to try to prevent this from happening again. Live at the Van Nuys Courthouse, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.